Mass of my Watts here, and we are about to continue our Let's Play of World of Warcraft, the Blood Elf Death Knight. We last left off, we left Chen Stormstout and his niece um, over here. That's very convenient, I guess that gives you the exclamation point, like, this is where you are. But we're actually going to talk to Zhao and start the Hidden Master quest chain. Welcome. Search for the Hidden Master. Oh, hello. You are looking for the owner of this place. <sighs> then look up top at the... Look to the Bandaran up at the top of the stairs. I am just a visitor like you. Now, if you'll excuse me, my friends and I are about to decide something. We can talk again afterwards. May the mist protect you. So, do any of you know where the Hidden Master lives? <laughs> I am pretty sure that is why he is called the Hidden Master, Lin. Oh, sorry. So, where should we search first? I can try asking the streams for guidance. The streams? You're no elder, Ashio. You're not even a Jinju grown yet. It would be a waste of your time. Can convince we split up. Follow the four winds. That's a much better idea, Ken Ken. I volunteer to travel south into the jungle. I will follow the north wind. Ken Ken go chase east wind. <laughs> Shortest walk. I. I suppose I'll go west then. Very well. As the oldest and fattest among us, I will wait here for each of you to return. Good luck, friends. Once we find the hidden master, we can continue our training. Panarin seemed to have this thing with girth being power, and yet not really wanting to do anything. Were you listening then? Don't worry, I don't mind. You're welcome to search for the Hidden Master as well, though if you do find him, I'd appreciate it if you came back and told me where he was. There is no hurry. Sure, the others might have gone off on exciting adventures. I don't mind. I'm perfectly happy here. Let's go find Ken Ken. So, Ken Ken, the Hosen. Personally, I'm impressed with he's progressed so far in his training. He's got a brain between his ears, which is more than I can say for most of his kind. He said he was headed east, but as we're on the eastern side of the valley, I can't imagine he went... I can't imagine he went uh, too far east. Look for him at Zoo's Watch in the Karsang Wilds, down to the path... down In the Karsang Wilds, down the path to the south. See what he's found. Jade Serpent. I think I just literally took the only one that isn't in the zone. Bridges. I don't need no stinking bridges. Yeah. yeah, those don't look friendly. <laughs> this place is... It, it's so sad. Ken can never see a place so sad. <laughs> Okay, well, we found out that we're not doing this place right now. Yay for poor planning. Victory for poor planning. Oh, yeah. I apologize for that. I didn't realize he would get so lost that he wouldn't be in the valley anymore. I just assumed he'd be, you know, south somewhere. Hello. I 
I'm not sure where Clever Asho got his clever title from. All Jinyu are clever, and I wouldn't say that he's any more clever than most of them. Quite the opposite, actually. At least he's a capable fighter. He did well enough at Tian Monastery to be selected for this training mission. If you want him, if you want to help him look for the hidden master, you can find him in the northern valley, in the bo uh, along the valley's northern border. There is no hurry. Um. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> That's where we left Chen. Just random flight path. Oh, I guess that's a. You should go this way. Those are big. I seen you before. Go with the waters. Well, have a look at that. Oceans of the massive waterfall of the north. This must be the water supply for the whole valley. Think about it, Sunblight. The Bandan used the water to grow vegetables the size of a house. Where could it come from? What is so special about it? The elders among my people know a technique for speaking with the water and divining the future. Perhaps the same technique can provide insight into the water source. It's worth a shot, at least. May your feet never dry. Meet me up at the pool when you are ready. A sturdy yak. Good sturdy yak. Um. Don't get many death knights up this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's reasons for that. Go ahead and start pulling up some of the younger flowers. Not too many. Which river led you here? This seems like a great spot to consult the water. Get to it. I've only done this once before. Hope this works. Wave. Wave. Genuine, the crazy rituals. What? What is this place? It's beautiful, but something is not right. That's the key to get off the horse. Could it be? Can the Jinyu really tap into the water's power that easily? I know what your friend has seen, Sunblight. He will need to take. S he will need to rest for now. Come speak with me. Greetings. I have never seen anyone get a vision from the water so easily. Then again, I can't remember the last time a Jinyu came to visit us, and then stuck his face in the water. Uh, I can't believe this was. He was able to see with that stick. Perhaps this is more to crazy genuine rituals than we thought. Aisho must have experienced what we call the golden dream. Many of us working here have seen it too. Often after a long day of toiling in the pools, they said this vision, and the feeling of el elation it brings, is a reward to the mind for working the body. There is an easier way, though we rarely resort to it anymore. A tea brewed from using lotus root and dream leaf, which grow on the around the shrine at the upper tier. Bring the dream leaf to Jan, back in the uh, town, and he can brew the tea for you. May your days bring you joy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have this feeling I should have just followed Chen. Oh, there's the Red Crane of Hope. Ah, here we are. Whoa! Turtle power, huh? Ow. Why? I must be in combat. That's what rocket boots are for. Yes, did you need something? Ah, dream leaf. So you want to see the golden dream, do you? Uh, come to think of it, I haven't seen the dream in years. Not since I was a cub, spending long hours playing in the pools. Long before I took up the culinary arts. Looks like you brought enough dream leaf for two cups of tea. So, why not? Here's to better days. Jade serpent. This brings elation. I feel like I'm starting a new character. No, that's not right. <sighs> it should be beautiful. It should be pristine. Perhaps I brewed the tea wrong. Yes, that must be it. I brewed the tea wrong. My apologies. Welcome. Next one is on me. Oops, scroll. In the days before the Sundry, legends has it that f all rivers flowed to Pandaria. Few were more aware of this than the clever Jinyu. Over time, the wisest of the people learned to commune with the waters of the river and, bring to the f and, bring and listen to the future and news it would bring. These elders were respected by their most races and earned the title of water speakers. So... Since it looks like I did things completely out of order, unless Clever Ash shows up here with, like, a quest. Greetings. No, nope, still the sort of dad there. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and we'll pick back up with uh, Chen, where we left him in the video before.